You're watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney, Southwest Florida's retirement television. He's an author, a radio host, a fiduciary, and Southwest Florida's premier investment advisor. Here is senior investment advisor, Eric Carney. And welcome to Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Eric Carney and Joseph Lanza of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Eric, how are you today? Great, great Cynthia. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. And Joseph, how are you? It's great to be here, Cynthia, as always. It's always great to have you both in the studio. And I love today's topic because obviously it's so important when you're planning for your retirement that you have income. Yeah various amounts of income streams, if you will. And so I want to ask you, Eric, I know you're very passionate about this subject, so let's just start, start right at the top. You concentrate on income planning before anything else when you're meeting with a client. Yeah. Why is this so very important and crucial? Well, what's interesting about income is, what does this actually do? Well, it connects us to our lifestyle. And so a lot of times during our accumulation years, we work at a job. And the thing is, is that we worry about the stability of that job. We realize that that job provides us with a paycheck. It also provides us to be able to pay our bills and live our lives. So why is our retirement any different? What we're really looking to do is concentrate on your income and making sure that you have enough retirement income for the rest of your life. But we're also looking to serve your needs. So again, a lot of people will focus on the portfolio, but we're focusing on the income plan. How sustainable is it? How about longevity? The market, it's gonna go up, it's gonna go down, it's gonna go sideways. That's the three guarantees that the market gives you. Right. But what you really wanna understand is, okay, through all that commotion, what about my paycheck? Am I still gonna be able to get that? So that's the one thing where we wanna people, give people financial confidence to understand that they're gonna be able to live their life the way that they actually want to. And Eric, is that still the number one fear that people have running out of money during retirement? Yeah, I think it's in between that and now healthcare is coming up there as well because it's getting so expensive. But mm -hmm. still, number one, I don't want to run out of money. Right. Well, Joseph, I have a question for you. Now mm -hmm. that we're responsible for creating our own paycheck, if you will, how do you do that if you have multiple accounts? Well, it's a great question because a lot of people get confused once they get to the decumulation stage of retirement when they're going to pull this money out, how they're going to go about doing that. And where this really starts with us is the income planning process where we're going to lay out all of your retirement income from Social Security, pensions, possible annuity payments, and then we're going to subtract your retirement expenses from that amount. And this is going to leave us with either a deficit or a surplus. And if you're in a deficit, we now know exactly how much you need from your accounts in order to keep your expenses afloat. And this is very important because now we can tailor fit your investments to pay out this amount to you every single month. And not only that, but we're factoring this into the overall financial plan, factoring in things like taxes and inflation, because we want our clients to know no matter what the new tax code is, no matter what the new inflation rate is, their income will always be able to keep their lifestyle sustainable throughout their whole life. Mm, Joseph, thank you so much. Eric, when it comes to creating a retirement paycheck, what are some important strategies to consider? Right. So, I mean, there's a very long list. You want to consider your asset allocation, your risk, your volatility, know your actual rate of return. What benchmarks are you using to take a look at your portfolio? What are you comparing it to? What is the actual rate of return that you need over time? Are you looking to reduce your market exposure over time? So there's a lot of different dynamics that go into this. We're looking at probability-based income planning, or we're also looking to incorporate guaranteed income planning in there. And as we get older, we also feel more financially vulnerable. And I, I think, Cynthia, this is one thing where we're meeting with clients on a regular basis because has your risk tolerance changed? Mm -hmm. But also, have your income needs changed? And we're already factoring in inflation, so that's not a big deal. But now people are looking to reduce their taxes, maybe yeah. Roth conversions or some other things. But there's a lot of different dynamics or a lot of different ingredients that go into income planning. But what blows me away more than anything else is how many retirees out there do not have any kind of income plan? That means that they don't have any accountability towards their advisor. But unfortunately, what we're seeing is a lot more people have significantly more, um, I would say, they care more about their advisor and they have more leniency than their advisor than they do their own money. 
Wow. And, and so they're like, well, I've been working with this person for such a long time. But if they think they're dropping the ball, maybe you need to make a change. And there's a lot of people that get deep into retirement that will agree with me. I should have done this five years ago. This has actually financially hurt me. So again, people are looking for that accountability from their advisor when it comes to income. Where am I deriving my income from and why? How safe is it? How sustainable is it? And, and really, that's why tax planning is so crucial. Eric, what advice do you have for people that are afraid to make a change with mm -hmm. their advisor? What can you tell them to give them peace of mind? Right. So there's a lot of people that say, Eric, I'm terrified to make a change. And this is one of the questions that we're gonna have in the first meeting. Do you have the emotional capacity to make a change? And I'm gonna be honest, if the answer is no, that's where the meeting's pretty much over. There's nothing we can do for that person. No matter what we tell them, no matter what plan we build, no matter what investment strategy we show them, it's not gonna make a difference if you cannot make a change. And so there's a lot of times where if anyone goes and sees any kind of counselor, the one thing that they're also asking is, are you open to making change? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, if you're not willing to do that, no one's gonna be able to help you. And you know, we have so many people coming through the front office, I just tell them nicely, we're not a good fit at this point. Mm -hmm. And when you can make a change, then come back and we're gonna be all open arms. We'll give you whatever you need. But there's a lot of people that say, I cannot make a change for this. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there just really is nothing that you can do for that person. Hmm. Joseph, if someone hasn't heard from their current advisor in two years or more, is that a red flag? Because I hear that quite often. I run into people at the grocery store and they ask about you gentlemen on the show and they're like, gosh, they seem like such really nice guys. Yeah. I haven't heard from my person in two years or more. Red flag? I mean, I don't think there's a bigger red flag than lack of communication. What are they really doing for you? What are you paying for? They obviously don't have any type of financial plan if they haven't contacted you within two years because they're not doing any updating to that. And I'm not even sure if they're doing anything to your portfolio. I mean, communication is key when you're working with a client because they have so many variables and changes that can happen in their life. Every single year brings new things aboard. And so you want to make sure that you're keeping their life updated in the financial plan. And not only that, but you want to let the client know what changes you're making to their portfolio. Mm. You know, when we make a big change to the portfolio when we're having a review meeting with that client we want them to understand what we're doing in the portfolio it's not like a hey hands off we're, we're taking care of this now no they have hands on with the portfolio as well so they should be knowing the changes that are happening as well mm -hmm. mm, Joseph thank you so much Eric I have a question for you sure. if someone is in the viewing audience today and they're not sure if they should pick up the phone and call in what advice do you have for them before we open the phones yeah what we've seen over the past 12 to 18 months is a lot of people are out there in that financial no man's land. They're not really happy where they are, but they're just not unhappy enough to do anything about it. And there's a lot of people who don't know what to do. So if you really feel like you're out there like that, give us a call today, set an appointment. It's completely free. You're going to know more about your personal financial blueprint than ever before. Give us a call today. Eric, thank you so much, Joseph. Thank you so much. To our viewers at home, the phone number to call is on your screen at this time. That number is 800 779-1942. We know that you have a lot of questions about how to plan your perfect retirement. Eric and Joseph have the answers for you. Don't miss the opportunity to call in today and to book that complimentary consultation. Are you on the right road for retirement? And if you're not, wouldn't you want to know today? Again, the number is 800-779-1942. We're going to take a very short commercial break, but we have so much more about planning your retirement income when we return. What does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives, and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. 
And welcome back to Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Eric Carney and Joseph Lanza of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Eric, I want to ask you a very important question that yeah. people in the viewing audience are probably wondering as well. When it comes to retirement income planning, does that factor in health care and long-term care? Ours do. I mean, and that, that was one major flaw that we saw many years ago with the big box firms. Or, and sadly enough, there's most people don't even have an income plan, right? Mm -hmm. But the biggest flaw that we've seen with the big box stores is that they're going to write an income plan, but what they're not going to factor in are eventualities and probabilities. And those are healthcare expenses and also long-term care expenses. Mm -hmm. So I stopped all that. Look, when you see your income plan, we're factoring a lot of things. We're factoring it, increasing inflation with your social security. If you're lucky enough to have a pension, there's a cost of living adjustment on there. If all of a sudden you're pulling out income, we're looking at your required minimum distributions. We're running it at a certain rate of return. We're also factoring in inflation every year. So let's say you need $85,000 every single year. We're factoring in 2.5% inflation on top of that 85,000. This ensures that we understand what the value of the portfolio has to be. And then all of a sudden, we're also gonna run in a three to five year rolling window. So when and if that person gets sick or their spouse, the spouse is still able to extract that income, but it's also able to self-fund their healthcare expenses. Mm. And so there's a lot of people, unfortunately, that don't think about this until the event actually happens. Wrong. You have to think about this way ahead of time. You have to understand what your rate of return has to be and able for this event to happen. I don't want any surprises when it comes to our clients. We want to know that we factored in and forecasted everything. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to income planning, this is something that we take very seriously. So I really do believe that this income plan is pretty sophisticated. Everything's factored in there and it's clear as day, which means there's complete transparency and the client really understands it. Mm. Eric, thank you so much for bringing up income again. I wanted to ask you, is it possible to create sustainable income during such difficult markets, if you will? Yeah, absolutely. So how do we reduce market exposure? How do we reduce your hug money, which is your housing, utilities, gas, groceries? How do we cover that money so that no matter what the market does, it's going to pull back it's going to correct. It's going to do whatever it does. I've been through this for 22 years. We've seen every kind of event, <coughs> but yet we still have to create income through that retirement, no matter what happens. So when the markets get ugly, I can actually rely on a fixed income stream that's non-correlated to the stock market and say, okay, we're going to let this one recover. We're going to go over here, pull from your fixed income or your guaranteed income, and you're going to be just fine. And the one thing that I want to say is that People are actually relieved when this happens. When the markets go into a tizzy, they're okay because we've prepared for this. So we're setting up different income streams for that client, sometimes turning off one and going to another. But in the end, what we've done is we've created options for that client's income. Mm, Eric, thank you so much. Joseph, obviously when the markets are volatile, it's difficult to decide when and where to pull mm -hmm. income from. Question I have is how do we know that we're making the right decision when selling assets? Right, so this comes down to sequence of returns, which is a combination of the timing of your withdrawal and the actual rate of return of your account. And this can have a huge effect on your overall performance. So what we like to do with our clients, and Eric mentioned this as well, is set up options for income that you can turn off and on. Mm -hmm. And a great way to do this is after a great year in the market, you can peel off the profits off the top of that account and use it to fund a new income stream for yourself. And the reason we want to do this is because when our clients build multiple income streams that they can turn off or on, if the market's going up, down, or sideways, they can turn off or on those income streams depending on what's best for them. Mm. Because the last thing they want to do is pigeonhole themselves to one investment because then when you need income, you may have to sell when it's not the best time for you. Mm. Mm. Joseph, thank you so much. Eric, a great question I have is when investors hear income paying portfolio, many think of fixed income. Right. Is that still relevant? Um, not lately. I mean, like I said, with interest rates the way that they've been, um, the fixed income world has taken a huge hit. And again, I talk about the 10-year aggregated bond fund in several of my shows, 
but please go to Yahoo Finance. Look at the 10-year rate of return on that. And if you've been invested in any kind of bond funds, your portfolio suffered. Then you throw inflation on top of that. Then you throw in your taxes. It's not a good place to be. So if you're truly looking for an income portfolio, what you really want to do is consider many different income streams that are paying you different kinds of income. And I think that this has been so exciting for us because it allows us to get through a volatile market. It allows us to get through a slowing economy. The No matter what, the client still wants income. And you know, interest rates are, are settling down a little bit now, so mm -hmm. some bonds are actually becoming more attractive, but you have to feather them in a little bit. You just can't jump in. So I think one thing that our clients really like is that they understand that we're managing their income portfolio. They also have a growth portfolio. Maybe they have a guaranteed portfolio, whatever it is. But again, multi-streams of income that have been purposely created. We've done all of this on purpose. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of work. You know, like, like people say, I see the amount of work and the knowledge and the experience that goes in here. Yeah. But, you know, the thing is, is that there's nothing that's perfect. You know, and again, in six months, that portfolio could change. There could be a financial scenery change that has to happen based on interest rates or the economy or whatever that may be. But we have to be prepared for that. Mm. Eric, I want to ask you as well about dividend paying stocks. How mm -hmm. do those play into income planning for retirement? Yeah. So. Here's the bottom line. When the markets tumble, everybody wants to get into dividend paying investments. Well, at least I'm receiving a dividend. I agree with you to a certain point. Here's the detriment or the other side of the coin of that. When the markets are down, you want to create a portfolio recovery strategy. We're actually going to be doing a show on this, how to actually recover from a down market. The thing is, what you really want to pay attention to is the alpha in your portfolio. The alpha is just a big word for horsepower. And sometimes the dividend paying stocks are great, but sometimes they're not going to get you out of the hole like some alpha driven stocks are. So you really have to build a very pragmatic portfolio that's going to serve the client's needs. And a lot of people think it's instant gratification to go into a dividend paying portfolio but it may not be good for them long term. So I love dividends, but like I said, you also have to be open to other things. Is retirement planning ever one size fits all? <laughs> no, and okay. that's what makes this such a challenge. Everybody that comes through the front door, it's different. Their circumstances are different. Their families, their goals, objectives, what they want to do, how much they're spending, how much they're not spending. Everything is completely different. And a lot of times we talk about a husband and a wife, they're coming in. What we're really trying to do is Bring them both on the same page because a lot of times money is an issue in a household mm. and financial planning and income planning can a lot of times bring them on the same page. And that's what I like so much about it. Mm. Well, Joseph, I have to ask you, when someone is coming in for the very first consultation, because we're going to be opening up the phone lines in just a moment, mm -hmm. what documents do they need to bring with them for that very first meeting with you and Eric? Well, all we ask for them to bring is any type of investment statements they may have, any type of annuity or insurance products they may be invested in, and we can start from there, and that's where we're going to start to build out our personal financial blueprint for them. We're going to start to dive into what their investments are doing for them and what possible solutions we can go about that for them. All right. Well, gentlemen, this is the perfect time for us to open the phone lines. Would you agree? Agreed. To our viewers at home, the number to call is on your screen. That number is 800-779-1942. We know that you're sitting in the viewing audience today, perhaps with a cup of coffee, wondering if you should call in. Well, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain by taking advantage of this complimentary consultation. You've worked your entire life to get to the retirement years, and you deserve to have the retirement of your dreams. The number once again is 800-779-1942. We're going to take a very short commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to talk more in detail about income and also perhaps talk a little bit more in detail about taxes. So please stay tuned. What I enjoy most about retirement planning is sitting down with you and having real conversations about your retirement dreams and goals. We specialize in helping people just like you prepare for the retirement they've always dreamed of. Retirement Wealth Advisors with Eric Carney. Hey Southwest Florida, thank you so much for watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. While we've had a lot of fun doing the show and we always appreciate your comments, 
more importantly, we've been able to help out an awful lot of people meet their retirement needs. And believe me, I get it. A lot of you watching today are just as frustrated with the financial industry as I am. But at Retirement Wealth Advisors, we have a completely different experience. By license and law, we're looking to put your best interest first. So whether it's a financial plan that you're looking for, you're out there in a financial no man's land, or you're truly looking for a second opinion, please pick up the phone and give us a call today and let's get that conversation started. And remember, strive for excellence, your wealth deserves it. And welcome back to Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. My name is Cynthia DeFazio and I'm joined today by Eric Carney and Joseph Lanza of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Joseph, we have to spend a little bit of time talking mm -hmm. about taxes because I wanted to ask you, how do taxes play a role in someone's income plan, if you will? Well, taxes have a massive role in your income plan because most of the income you're going to be receiving is taxable to you. Social Security is taxable up to 85%. Your pensions are most likely going to be taxable. And any withdrawals from 401ks or IRAs are all going to be taxed at ordinary income. Mm -hmm. And speaking of 401ks or IRAs, if majority of your assets are in types of accounts like these, then they truly say that you only own 70 to 80% of that account. And the other 20 to 30% is owned by the government. They just haven't gotten their share of it yet because you haven't taken any withdrawals. So it's an IOU to the IRS. <laughs> exactly. So, so if, you're, if your advisor is not doing any type of tax planning along alongside your income planning, they're truly doing you a disservice because they could be providing you with false hope on how much income you're truly going to be receiving. Wow. And not to mention, new tax codes come out every single year. So there's always going to be a new strategy that we can implement, and we don't want to see you leaving any money on the table by missing out on those. Mm, Joseph, thank you so much. Eric, I have another question for you. When we have years with great market returns, how does this affect our income strategy? Great market returns. Yeah, so let's take a look at the past 12 years, let's say. Hopefully your portfolio did extremely well. And what we're seeing is when we take a look at the three and the five year past rates of return, those are the numbers that I care about. The reason why is if you've had good three and five year rates of return, you can actually absorb a down year because now all of a sudden, you know, you've had very good returns and when you average in that bad year, you're not so bad. But what happens if your three and your five year returns were pretty bad in a really good market? Do you really think that in a bad market, those, those investments and, and that performance is gonna be better? No. So you really have to be aware of if they weren't strong before, why aren't they strong? Mm. And so your, your rates of return are really tied to everything. <clears throat> and our clients wanna know, understand where they are. Even in a down market, where do I stand? So your three and your five year, when we talked about the personal financial blueprint that we do for everyone, we're comparing it against the appropriate benchmarks. They understand where they are. And right off the bat, they know whether they're in a good position or a not so good position. And believe me, even when you do Roth conversions, even when you're trying to create income, everything is tied to that rate of return. And the last thing that I'll say about that is people always ask me, Eric, what do the wealthy do differently? Mm. The one thing that I will tell everyone is that wealthy people focus on their money. Other people focus on their lifestyle first. But wealthy people understand that when they pay attention to their money, it will eventually fund their lifestyle. But if someone's only concentrating on that lifestyle, but not focusing on how it's gonna be paid for, that's not a good road to go down. It's not gonna have a very good ending. So a lot of times we wanna focus on the money first and that lifestyle will come from that. Mm, Eric, thank you. Obviously Roth conversions have become very popular. People are talking about them everywhere. How do they implement into your client strategy? Well, the issue is, is that they sound really easy and you hear all these advisors say, we do Roth conversions, we do Roth conversions. It's not that simple, I promise you. Now, we do a lot of them, but here's the thing. They're factored in with your financial plan because what most people don't realize is when you do a Roth conversion, that is considered a withdrawal, which now all of a sudden may affect your Medicare, which could affect your tax bracket. There's a lot of moving parts that come with this. So the bottom line is, Cynthia, is I think that Joseph and, and Donna, who are in the, the financial planning side of it, do an amazing job because now all of a sudden we're coming up with a time frame. We're considering your rate of return. We're looking at longevity. We're looking to stretch out that Roth conversion. So not only is it affordable, but it's not affecting the rest of your life. 
The one thing that I hate about this industry, and hate is a strong word, I apologize, but the one thing that I dislike about this industry is how easy people think Roth conversions are. How easy is it to convert this? It's not, it is a process, I promise you. Mm -hmm. And that's where I sit back and I'm like, come on you guys, get this together. And that's why I love our team, our firm, because like I said, we're being realistic about this and that's what really people want. They wanna understand, okay, if I do this, what happens down here? There's no such thing as instant gratification when it comes to financial planning. Sorry to say that, but wealth takes time. It ta sometimes it's an absolute lifetime to get there. But over time through strategic, we're being very careful about what moves you're making and our clients appreciate that. Mm, Eric, thank you so much. Joseph, we had a viewer question come in actually a couple of weeks ago and I wanted to ask you since we're talking about Roth conversions. Mm -hmm. They wanna know, Joseph, can you explain the difference between a Roth conversion and a Roth contribution? Right, so a Roth conversion is gonna be when you already have <clears throat> money in an IRA and you're actually converting that more than your regular contribution amount out of the IRA into your Roth. And like Eric said, this is gonna be all taxable income to you. Now, a regular Roth contribution is done during your working years, you must have earned income. And that's normally at 7,000, right now they just updated it for 2023, mm -hmm. and it's 7,500 if you're over 50, 6,500 if you're under 50. So a lot of folks can do a lot more on the Roth conversion side because they've built up 401ks or IRAs for so long, they have so much money that's just waiting to be taxed by the government. So now we can set up a time frame over a long period of time, how we're gonna go about converting that every single year. And it can be a lot more than just the regular contribution in there. Mm, Joseph, thank you so much. Eric, with only a couple minutes left of the show this week, what final words of wisdom would you like to give our viewers at home? Right, so, so many people wanna know, how do I create income? It's all about creating different options for that, creating different dynamics of income. You wanna understand that you have long-term sustainability. You also have longevity. You wanna factor in inflation. You wanna factor in health care, long-term care. You wanna know that there's no hurdles in front of you when it comes to that income. Mm -hmm. So again, this is something that we take very seriously. And again, I'm always blown away at how many people are going into retirement, not having a financial plan, not having an income plan, and not have any tax planning. So if you're out there, again, and you're looking for a second opinion, come in and talk to us. It's a great conversation. Don't put it off any longer. So really what it comes down to, gentlemen, is proper planning for retirement. And that's not the same as grabbing those statements out of the mailbox. Right. All right. Well, thank you for another amazing episode this week. I know the viewers at home have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it so much. So thank you again for coming to the studio. I always love seeing you. To the viewers at home, the number to call is on your screen. That number is 800-779-1942. We know that you're sitting at home today with a lot of questions for Eric and Joseph about how to plan your perfect retirement, how to plan income in retirement. They have the answers for you. They're offering you a complimentary consultation today, and all you have to do is take advantage of picking up the phone and calling in to 800-779-1942. Be safe, be happy, be blessed. And we'll see you back one week from today on Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. Hey, Southwest Florida. Thank you so much for watching today's show. If anything's resonated with you today or you're really looking for that second opinion, give us a call today. If you're serious about your finances, we're serious about working with you. Remember, you only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. Have a great week and an even better retirement.